Welcome to 2023. Um, it's nice to see you all here. Hope you had a great holiday. And uh, hi, John. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Art. Uh, we've got some news to share with everybody. Now, as you know, and I hope the folks are watching know, Celebrating Act Two is really for everybody, mm -hmm. primarily aimed at baby boomers, Gen X, those people close to retirement or in retirement. Um, but it's all about enjoying the second half of your life. And of course, second half of your life still includes taxes. <laughs> and uh, you can't get away from it. And the, the biggest thing as you retire, really, uh, as you get into your 70s, is the RMD requirement for your IRA 401k, the required mi minimum distribution. The government... You can save your money as long as you want, but the government needs its money. That means it, it wants its taxes. You've okay, got to take a required just for, distribution at some point. Some of the so younger they just folks say the law. Just some, of, some of the younger folks say the required minimum distribution basically says that for money that you put away in IRAs and other tax deferred, which means that you, you put it in there and you didn't get taxed on it when you were working, when it was going in there. At some right. point, they 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 want you before if you're going to live to be a hundred, they want you to start taking the money out so they can then tax you on the money. Theoretically, when you're in a lower uh, tax rate, so if you're not making the hundreds of thousands of dollars you used to make, and now you're just on retirement income, they want to now start tax you at a lower rate. So that was what that was all about. But uh, you say that uh, there's uh, been some changes, John. Yeah, it's a new law. Now, here we are at the beginning of 2023, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, what was it? The Omnibus Act changed, uh, passed at the end of 2022, just I mean, a that month ago. Uh, it's got lots of stuff in it, but buried somewhere in there is a thing called Secure 2.0. Does that, do I have the name right? Yeah, right? it's a Secure Act uh, 2.0. The Secure Act, Secure 2.0 Act. Right. Anyway, it deals that part of the the, uh, the law deals with your retirement uh, funds and you need to read it. doesn't matter whether you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, you need to read it because it changes, what did you say, 90? Got 90, 90 items? It's got 90, according to the, the Google research we've done, it's got 93 new provisions uh, or a modification of current provisions that we all think we know about. Like, for instance, uh, uh, John, one of the key things that just popped out at us was that it used to be that you had to start take withdrawing from your fund at uh, whatever you've saved, your retirement funds, at age 72. You could do it earlier, but yep, 71 by 72, and a half was, 72 yeah. and a half, right? You had it, As of 2023, as of January 1st, just earlier this week, they raised that to... 73, and by 30, 33, they're going to raise it to 75, which means right. that as you're living longer lives, you, you probably, uh, many people are even working longer, you may want to delay taking money out of those accounts so that it will last as long as we're going to last because we're, we're living longer. So that's sure. why a lot yes. of people delay taking that money out. Sure. And, and by the way, at which time you have to start paying taxes, what from what you're withdrawing, so you might want to hope. Yeah. So that's that's a, uh, that jumps off the page, but there are dozens upon dozens of other basically positive stuff. They weren't closed and loopholes. This is pork. This is good pork. <laughs> if, yeah. if, if you're going to live a long life, this is good pork. They're doing things like uh, the amount of, let's say you didn't start an IRA until you were later and you were eligible to do it earlier. They let you catch up with bigger numbers. Yeah, uh, there are all sorts of things in there that uh, sweeten all of the little provisions. Uh, well, it, it at least it looks that way to our initial analysis. <laughs> okay. But with ninety three items, you can't be sure. So the, it really behooves all of us to um, because the rules have changed slightly. Uh, the dollar figures have changed, the dates have changed, and it might affect you. Even though you're nowhere near retirement, you need to include this information in your planning. Now, if you're in your 60s, 
it'll become a lot more crucial to you. And if you're in your 70s or 80s, it may not be relevant anymore because it is all aimed at uh, those folks that are going to start taking distributions from their re retirement accounts. Yeah, you youngins who are, even you youngins who are in your 60s, your late 60s, uh, this could be a benefit to you. But look, this banter may just be drivel to you. Oh, dribble? <laughs> dribble or drivel. But we're going to do you a favor, and we are going to put a link to one of the sites that we found pretty useful at explaining this stuff. Although you can go to Google uh, or your favorite uh, uh, search engine and type in Secure Act 2.0 and uh, uh, make sure that you check something after December 22nd or whenever they signed it so that you, you don't get what they think is going to happen, but you get what actually happened. We're going to give you a nice link of something that explains most of the changes in some detail, uh, but go find your own, but then take it and share it with your children. Uh, anybody yep. who's of working age, who's in, even in their 20s or 30s, if they want to be serious about planning, even if they weren't going to be, this might just trigger you to begin to think about it because there are right. tons of new provisions. Right. Well, there, there are some, uh, as I read it, there are some provisions in this new law that actually affect employer contributions, mm -hmm. which, you know, which if you're in your 20s, uh, you ought to take full advantage of, even though you're 30 years away from retirement. Right. So uh, everybody should read it and everybody should uh, follow that link and then do your own research. And have a happy new year. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. We, we made a resolution, John, that we almost blew. What's Please, that? Please, if you like this, do the like button. And subscribe. Come on, John. Oh. We almost lost the first opportunity of this year. Shame on shame on me. What about shame on you? Uh, I knew you our, we almost blew our very first resolution. Right. So you're right, Art. Please, please subscribe. Please. Okay. Right. It, it'd be nice if you did. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.